Hey y'all, it's Mommy Wata and I am back. So, somebody is singing that Ursha song, You Remind Me. You remind me of a girl that I once knew. And this is why I can't get with you, basically. Like, they're having apprehensions about a new love interest because they remind this masculine of a girl that they, they used to know. And he said, you wouldn't believe all the things that she put me through. So let's see what the Holy Spirit wants us to know about this. Holy Spirit, what is the message at this time regarding this download that I received? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. What would you like for me to know? Messages, please and thank you. Dang. Maybe they had a little... Ooh, hold on. I just heard some, but let's see, Holy Spirit, what would you like for us to know about this download that I received, the Page of Pentacles in the reverse, when I cut the deck, this masculine envision a future with whoever that was once upon a time, let's go, Holy Spirit, what would you like for us to know? Four of Swords, that situation is delayed to rest with the devil here because it was karmic. He said, you wouldn't believe all the things that she put me through. That man probably be sitting back and reflecting on the toxicity that he experienced in that connection. Okay? And it came to an end. It was a lot of drama. Alright? This may be a kingdom of cups here. Who feels this way? Yo, look. She coming out as a queen of swords in reverse. Whoever... He has these toxic memories of, okay? He he really don't fuck with this Queen of Swords in reverse, this King of Cups stone, okay? So it's making it hard for him to deal with someone else. It's something about this new love interest that reminds him of how he was in the Five of Pentacles with this Queen of Swords in reverse, and he's been blocking this love interest from taking off. I feel like he think he reviving that old relationship he had with this queen of swords in reverse. Because I'm pretty sure at one point this woman looked like the son to him too, okay? He was not thinking that he would be in the five of pentacles initially when he got up with this queen of swords in reverse, okay? What else, Holy Spirit? We have the strength card. But he realized that it was a struggle. Okay? Somebody got Leo in their chart. Queen of Wildstone flew out here. She may have been a Leo. She may only be coming out as this Queen of Wands. Excuse me, as this Queen of Swords in reverse. Because of how his beliefs about her changed. He was looking at her as a divine counterpart, an ideal love choice at one point, but a light will shine down on who he was truly giving to and receiving from, okay? So this masculine went through it with this, this woman, this queen of wands, this a Leo here, okay? He went through it with this Leo. So there's somebody that he's met recently, y'all, okay? After he moved on to calm waters away from the destruction that he was experiencing with this Leo, this King of Cups has met somebody else now. Someone else that he's considered giving love to. That he has considered charting a new course in life with. And even bossing up for. Okay? But this masculine... He really feels like this woman is familiar to him, but not familiar in a good way. Dang. Okay, we had the lovers with the two of pentacles and the hangman child. I'm trying to tell you. He feels like this new love choice here is going to have him discombobulated and caught up, caught up too. Just like this queen of wands, queen of swords in reverse did. He feels like if he tries to have a life in the sunshine with this lover's energy, he going to get caught up. And the Holy Spirit is backing that thing up, okay, with this Ace of Swords here. 
This man is being very cautious of the action that he takes because the action that he took with this Queen of Wands in the past caused a lot of destruction in his life. This man went through some shit with this Leo, okay? Because I can pick up on his apprehension about this new love to the point that she ain't really popping out here in no real form because he don't even know how to feel about her. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Seven of um, Pentacles. This man, Page of Wands. He don't know what to think, feel, or how to act. What to do, what to invest here. What action to take. He is on the fence. He's trying to decide. He don't want to sow the wrong seeds with this woman. He don't want to say the wrong things to this woman that he will something he'll regret in the future. He don't want to take the wrong action. Okay? So what is it about this love, new love that, because on one hand, this man feel like he could boss up for this woman, that he could really get into this chariot emperor energy about her, okay? But on the other hand, he really feel like she going to have him all upside down. So why, what is it about her? Ten of, ooh, ten of swords with the three of swords, child. This masculine feel like she going to break his heart. Like she going to betray him somehow. He just know it, y'all. That's why he is holding back. He may celebrate with this woman, but he is not fully giving her all of his energy like he could. Okay? He is being withdrawn to a certain extent. But these people have celebrated together now. But with this three of cups, that also tells me that they're not... Mutually exclusive. They are not just talking to each other. Okay? They have not graduated to that point in their connection yet. And it's because of how he feels. But he do think this woman is his... I, I had said divine counterpart earlier with this Queen of Wands. You know, Bumper Ideal Love Choice. He feel like this is his divine counterpart, child. But he is, once again, on the fence. He on the fence, y'all, about this relationship. He feel like this woman is going to betray him and break his heart. So that's that must have been what this Queen of Wands did. Clarify, Holy Spirit. We have the star. He received some truth and clarity about her behavior. We have death. Whatever he learned about what she was doing with this Ace of Cups, it really is giving, giving her love away to another, sharing her love with another. That cut the love that he had for her, for sure, okay? This one was giving somebody else faith and hope in the future. And this masculine learned that this was a loss for him. He was severely betrayed this man really looks at this queen of wands in a very sordid light six of wands i feel like this was a public embarrassment as well i feel like people are well aware of this action that this woman took by giving faith and hope to another and this is why she is coming out as a queen of swords to this king of cups emperor energy okay because she embarrassed this man we have the Eight of Pentacles. And this man was openly investing in her. So, you know, at that point, it's like, what else can you do with this Ten of Wands here? You know, she got you in the Ten of Swords and the Three of Swords. You you about can't do nothing but give up, but return that energy with this King of Swords. You know, that's if she treating you like she... Ain't fucking with you like that. Why are you trying to continue to fuck with her like that? This is this King of Cup, King of Cups Emperor's thinking. So he became a King of Swords to this Queen of Swords in reverse. And she really is triggering. This new woman is triggering this man. Okay? In a good way and in a bad way. He can see a bright future with her. But he also feel like it's a possibility the future he have in mind 
may end up in a tower. 10 on one on the phone. Some type of tragic ending. Something he experienced similar to what something similar to what he experienced with this Queen of Swords in reverse Queen of Wands, okay? He's very, very cautious, reluctant, apprehensive. He ain't feeling that shit, y'all. <laughs> we have the Eight of Cups with the Four of Cups with the Eight of Wands, okay? So... This man is like, I didn't leave all of that behind and stop accepting this Queen of Wands love offer to move on and reconnect with her doppelganger, okay? Because, boy, I'm telling you, I don't know what he picking up off of this, this Empress energy here. You know, we going to call her Empress because that's how he view her. He view her as the Empress, somebody that he can be in this chariot emperor energy with, okay? But it's something he picking up off this woman, okay? That's really got him trying to decide, y'all. He feel like he reconnecting with this old lover. And he just not sure he want to balance his way, balance his life, excuse me, in that way, okay? Well, anything else, Holy Spirit? What's going to be the outcome of this? Ace of Pentacles. If this masculine decides to give this empress a chance, he will see how divine the connection really can be. He's already picking up on that energy off of her to feel like she's his divine counterpart, okay? So at this point, it's almost just like take a chance. You've taken a chance with other energies in the past that didn't give off as much divine energy for show as this new person in your life, okay? I think this Queen of Wands looked the picture, 12-12 when I looked up, but she did not display those inner qualities if this masculine truly paid attention. That's why this Three of Pentacles came out behind the Queen of Wands. A light was shined down on who he was truly collaborating with. But again, I feel like if he would have paid attention, he would have saw that, oh, she not really as divine as I think she is. But this empress, this new woman that he has met, she is, okay? She is the ideal counterpart with this Ace of Pentacles here. I feel like he's going to be more in regret if he don't take this chance, okay? With this fool card here. Because this is a golden opportunity with this Ten of Cups. You know? Don't put that on that lady. Don't put that on that lady, King of Cups, now. Nah. What you experienced with that other woman, that's not necessarily what the future will hold with this empress, okay? And he's got to come to grips with that, you know? I think he, he listening more to his own personal fear than his intuitive abilities with this Knight of Wands. You know, he, he don't want to make a bold and erratic choice, but sometimes stepping out on faith and listening to your intuition, even when you don't have any proof, per se, might rock, hit, shh, hello, can't even get it out, child, might lead you right into the Ten of Pentacles, okay? Spiritual belch, honey, spiritual confirmation, child, trying to tell you. So don't be too afraid of what's, in the dark, what you can't see. You know, we don't have all the answers. This moon talks about secrets, what is hidden from us, what we cannot always see. But the moon also talks about our intuition, what the universe is whispering to us in the dark, behind the scenes that everybody ain't privy to, okay? And I feel like what the universe is saying right now is that even though she may look like a replica of someone from your past, this woman is your divine counterpart, okay? This moon is falling right up under this Ace of Pentacles. So you got to give her a chance. You got to give her a chance. Anything else, Holy Spirit, anything else that you want us to know here? 
Knight of Cups. You got to give her an opportunity to prove herself. Okay? I'm getting that vibe here. You know, she may look like that other King of Wands. Ooh, Queen of Wands. Excuse me. King of Wands. Okay? She might look like that other Queen of Wands, but she matches you. This, this new one here. Okay? She most definitely is your match. I feel like you got it right this time around. Okay? So you just got to give her a chance. Because that is a divine feminine. That's a divine feminine now. Okay? And I'm going to drop the mic here. This was short but sweet. And I do hope it helps someone. But always remember, y'all, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. Take only what resonates and leave the rest. And I will be back soon with another one. Peace.